Hey guys, it's Joe from PocketNow.com and I've got an Android quick tip for you today. For this one, I'm going to be using the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G, but the same battery saving technique that I'm about to show you will apply to almost every Android powered phone on the market. Let's go look! Okay, so this Android quick tip is basically setting a more conservative Wi-Fi sleep policy. So of course this has to do with Wi-Fi, but I'm showing you on this phone for a particular reason. You see, the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G is one of T-Mobile's phones that comes with Wi-Fi calling enabled. In fact, it kind of encourages you to set up Wi-Fi calling when you connect to a Wi-Fi access point right off the bat which is good, but that also means that you might have some uh, some battery life impact. Now, I've advised you in the past to turn on Wi-Fi, to use Wi-Fi whenever possible, because even having Wi-Fi on looking for a connection point will save you a lot of battery life when you're surfing over Wi-Fi, or browsing over Wi-Fi, or streaming music over Wi-Fi, or watching video over Wi-Fi, rather than watching it over HSPA, or whatever your data connection might be. While all of that holds true, what doesn't really make sense, at least at first glance, is why you'd need to leave Wi-Fi on all the time. I mean, for example, if we're at uh, pocketnow.com and I turn off the screen, I don't need my Wi-Fi on anymore. Now, it might be nice if I kept my Wi-Fi antenna alive so that when I turned the screen back on and went back to pocketnow.com and wanted to go to the next page, I didn't have to renegotiate for, you know, an IP address and all that stuff, but that gets into a lot of networking that we don't need to worry about. What wouldn't be good is if when I turn my screen off, my Wi-Fi stays on all the time. But with Wi-Fi calling, it has to do that. And why does it have to do that? Well, basically, if you're going to receive a phone call over Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi has to be on to be able to receive it. Makes sense, right? But let's go take a look and see exactly what I'm talking about. On any Android phone, you should be able to go to your home screen, hit menu, go to settings, go to wireless and networks. From there, go to Wi Fi settings. From there, make sure your Wi Fi is turned on. Go to menu, advanced, and this will take a minute because it's connecting right now. If yours was already connected, it would go right there really quickly. Best Wi-Fi performance, if your Wi-Fi is kind of slow, if your access point is kind of far away, turning that on will help get you better performance, but it's also going to consume some more battery power, so be advised about that setting. But what we're really after here is this Wi-Fi sleep policy. Open that up and you can see by default on the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G, it's set to never sleep. Now what is sleeping? Basically it's just turning Wi-Fi off. I don't like that. But again, if you are using Wi-Fi calling, you need to have that. But there's the trick. If you're not using Wi-Fi calling, you don't need to have that. So let's change it to never when plugged in. Now, why never when plugged in? Meaning it's never going to sleep. It's never going to turn the Wi-Fi off when it's plugged in. Well, to me, that's great. That's perfect. When I'm plugged in, I'm charging up, in most cases, and I'm able to stream down any podcasts, any uh, RSS feeds, news feeds, anything like that that I have scheduled to happen at night can come over Wi-Fi where it's much faster and it's not going to impact my battery life obviously because I'm plugged in. Well, more conservative still is after 15 minutes. So now when I turn my screen off, Wi-Fi is going to be on for 15 minutes and then it's going to turn off. Now that's not the way it is on all phones. For example, let's come over here to the Epic 4G. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. If I can find where it is on these uh, capacitive buttons that hide until you press them. Go into Settings, Wireless and Networks, Wi-Fi Settings, Menu, Advanced, Wi-Fi Sleep Policy, and right here you can see it will sleep Wi-Fi when the screen turns off. Not after 15 minutes, but as soon as that screen turns off, or never when it's plugged in, or never, and this one defaults to when the screen is turned off. Now, after 15 minutes, and immediately when the screen turns off, that seems like an awful big gap. So, let's see another phone, see how it does it. This, of course, is the G2, and we are going to go into Settings, Wireless, going to go to Wi-Fi settings 
and this is a little bit slow to respond right now because I just woke it up and it's very, very overclocked. Normally it's a lot faster at responding. Go into advanced again, the Wi-Fi sleep policy. And again, overclocking your phone can mean that some things respond slower than you'd expect them to. And you can see the settings we have here. Again, immediately when the screen turns off, never when plugged in, and never. So it's the same as the Epic 4G. So how can you use this technique to save battery power? Basically, as long as you don't have your Wi-Fi set to never sleep, move it to never when plugged in, or when the screen turns off, or after 15 minutes after the screen turns off, you should be fine. The impact that you're going to have, of course, is you may not be able to get some of those Wi-Fi calls, or if you are, well, if you're not under a cellular data network, then obviously you don't have any data connection. So at that point, if you find yourself in that circumstance, you may want to set it to never as well. But in any event, as soon as you turn your screen back on, your Wi-Fi policy is going to kick back on, you're going to connect again, and everything should be just fine and dandy. But doing this will save you, in my experience, about two to three hours of battery life on the MyTouch 4G every day. Otherwise, if you have this at Never, you might not make it through a full business day. I usually did, but then had to plug in on my commute on my way home. Otherwise, I would lose all of my battery life and the phone would turn off. So, really quick, really simple, kind of buried deep in the OS uh, way to save some battery life. Simply making sure that your Wi-Fi can sleep when you don't need it to be awake. Kind of neat. Let me know how much battery life that saves you, and if you've got any other options in your Wi-Fi sleep policy dialog, I'd be interested to know what phone you have and what settings you have in there, as well as which one you use on a normal, everyday basis. Leave that down below. Of course, subscribe to our video channel so you can keep up to date with more Android quick tips. And for Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.